हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इजी शॉर्ट्स ऑफ लर्निंग टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड एंड नॉन इंटीग्रेटेड अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम इन नॉन इंटीग्रेटेड अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम टू सेपरेट सेट्स ऑफ बुक्स आर मेंटेन वन इज टू रिकॉर्ड ऑल द कॉस्ट रिलेटेड ट्रांजेक्शन इन द कॉस्ट बुक्स एंड अनदर वन इज टू रिकॉर्ड ऑल द मॉनिटरी ट्रांजेक्शन रिलेटेड टू ए कंपनी इन द फाइनेंस बुक्स वैन दीज टू बुक्स आर मर्ज और इंटीग्रेटेड then a single book is maintained to record all the transactions related to cost or finance so here in integrated accounting system a single book is maintained to record cost and monetary transactions so friends if you have not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and if you have any query related to this topic please write me in the comment box let's start with first we will understand what do you mean by non integrated accounting system which is also known as cost ledger accounting system in this accounting system separate sets of books are maintained that is two books are maintained one is to record all the monetary transactions in the finance book and another one is to record all the income and expenses related transactions that is the cost transactions in the cost books now the question is this if the company is same transactions are same then why there is a need to record transactions in two different books suppose a company recruit three employees ram mohan and sham these employees are recruited in separate separate departments ram is recruited in the production department mohan is recruited in admin department and sham is recruited in selling and distribution department now the wages or salaries paid to these employees so first transaction is the payment of wages or the wages paid or salary paid so these transaction is recorded in both the books whether it is finance book or cost books but when we charge the salary or these expenses to departments then this charge of salary or recovered of overhead is recorded not in finance book but in cost books take another example suppose we purchase material costing rupees 2 lakh this purchase of material is recorded in both the books whether it is finance book or the cost book but the issue of raw material from the store is recorded not in finance book but in the cost books so some transactions are common but some transactions are different that's why we use two books in place of one book to record all the transactions in non integrated accounting system but we when we merge these transactions into a single single book to record finance and cost related transactions then we maintain integrated accounting system in integrated accounting system a single book is maintained to record all the monetary or business related transactions now how we generalize these transactions the rule of double entry bookkeeping system is follow to generalize all those transactions whether it is non integrated accounting system or integrated accounting system now we understand what are the features and the difference between these two the first feature is maintaining of books in integrated accounting system a single book is maintained to record all the cost and finance related transactions but in non integrated account it is the responsibility of cost accountant to record all the income and expenses related transactions in the cost books and the responsibility of financial management of sorry financial manager or financial accountant to record all the transactions in the finance book so in non integrated accounting two sets of books are maintained but in integrated accounting a single book is maintained to record all these transactions the second feature is recording of transactions when the transactions are recorded the transactions are divided into different parts so in non integrated accounting or the cost ledger control accounts only nominal accounts or the transactions that are related with income and expenses are recorded for all other accounts whether they are related with assets and liabilities a single account is open in non integrated accounting which is known as 
जनरल लेजर एडजस्टमेंट अकाउंट और कॉस्ट लेजर कंट्रोल अकाउंट इन दिस अकाउंट इट इज अल्फ बैलेंसिंग लेजर टू रिकॉर्ड ऑल दी ट्रांजेक्शन इन नॉन इंटीग्रेटेड अकाउंटिंग इन प्लेस ऑफ असेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज बट इन इंटीग्रेटेड अकाउंटिंग ऑल अकाउंट रिलेटेड विद डेटर्स एंड क्रेडिटर्स असेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज इनकम एंड एक्सपेंसिस आर रिकॉर्डेड इन ए सिंगल बुक दैट इज इंटीग्रेटेड अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम सो हियर अ सिंगल बुक इज मेंटेन टू रिकॉर्ड ऑल दी ट्रांजेक्शन बट इन नॉन इंटीग्रेटेड अकाउंटिंग ओनली transactions related with income and expenses are recorded the third feature is duplication of work in non in non integrated accounting two sets of books are maintained one is to record cost one is to record cost related transactions and another one is to record financial or monetary related transactions but when we record some transactions that are com- common in both the books it means the amount is common transaction is same but the method of recording is different so in non integrated accounting our work is increased so this is known as duplication of work is there or exist in non integrated accounting but in integrated accounting when we record all the transaction in a single book so the duplication does not exist in integrated accounting so here the duplication of work does not exist so it is benefited or our time is saved in integrated accounting the last feature is saving of time as we have already discussed in integrated accounting where we record all the cost and financial related transactions in a single book so there is no difference between the profits and we come out with a single profit so reconciliation is not required in integrated accounting but in non integrated accounting when we prepare cost books some overheads or expenses are estimated and when we use these estimated expenses so our profit is also estimated in cost books but when we record transactions in finance books all the income and expenses are actual so our profit is also actual now there is a difference between estimated profit and actual profit this difference we find with the help of reconciliation so in non integrated accounting reconciliation of account should be there or we have to prepare reconciliation statement of cost and financial books but reconciliation is not required in integrated accounting system so our time will be saved in integrated accounting system now we understand how we generalize our transactions in integrated and non integrated books we take first example where we purchase of raw material in cash amounted to rupees 2 lakh in non integrated books we maintain two types of books one finance book and another one is the cost book when we record this transaction purchase of material is an expense and all expenses are debited in finance book so we debit the purchase account and our asset is increased sorry asset is decreased so we credit the cash account so our entry here is purchases account debit to cash but in cost books when we purchase raw material we debit with the stored ledger control account because our store is increased by purchase of raw material and in cost books we are not consider any assets and liabilities account so in place of cash we use general ledger adjustment account or cost ledger control account so our entry in cost books is stored ledger control account debit to general ledger adjustment account but when we in- integrate these two books finance book or the cost books then in place of general ledger adjustment account we use cash account on credit side so our entry is stored ledger control account debit to cash account the second transaction is wages paid amounted to rupees 50000 our entry in finance book because wages is an expense so wages account debit to cash but in cost book our entry is wages control account debit and cash is an asset so in place of asset we use general ledger adjustment account on credit side when we integrate or merge these two entries 
then in place of general ledger adjustment account we use cash account so our entry in integrated book is wages control account debit to cash account why we use control word in all the expenses in cost books because the objective of cost accountant or the cost manager is to minimize the cost or minimize the expenses so we use control word with all the expenses and overheads in the cost books now we understand how many accounts are opened in or the ledger posting we done in non integrated accounting when we open accounts in non integrated accounting we follow the process where the raw material is converted into finished goods so the first step is we open stored ledger control account with all the all those transactions that are related with material wages control account to pay wages and salaries to the employees and charges these wages to other departments and factory overhead control account for factory related expenses the balance of these accounts are transferred to work in progress ledger control account which is our second step in this in addition with wages work in progress ledger control account we open admin overhead con control account now the balances of these two accounts are transferred to our third step which is stock ledger control account or finish stock ledger control account here we add another account which is known as selling and distribution ledger control account and the balances of these two accounts are transferred to cost of sales account and the cost of sales and sales differences are transferred to costing pnl account to find out the profit in cost books so these are the accounts which are open in non integrated accounting in addition to these accounts we also open general ledger adjustment account or cost ledger control account for all those expenses related with assets and liabilities now in integrated accounting in addition to all those accounts which are open in cost books we add accounts that are related with assets and liabilities and here general ledger adjustment account is not open so friends this video is about what do you mean by integrated and non integrated accounting system and what are the features and difference between these two so friends if you like this video share this video and subscribe the channel thank you so much have a nice day